What's going on everybody? Jared Setzer here with another episode of Roof Cleaning Wrapped Up. This video will complete the trifecta of asphalt, tile, and metal roof cleaning videos, so if you haven't already, spread some love on those when you're done here. This episode is also part one of a three-part series of a $2,400 exterior cleaning project, so be on the lookout for parts two and three, along with a full-length video of the entire project. Other future videos include cleaning two roofs in one day, along with cleaning a roof in one hour. Hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Before we get into it, stick around to the end for your word of the day and be sure to blow up the comments with it. Also, feel free to leave any questions you may have in the comments below for a chance to get shouted out in future videos. To start this off, quick shout out to Marco Rodriguez for his comment on my most recent roof cleaning video. Do you charge extra for two story homes compared to a single story? Thanks very much for your question, man. The answer is yes. When I first started, I would not. But over time, I started to charge a couple more cents per square foot for roofs that are more than one story, particularly so that I could take my time and feel safe throughout the entire process. When you're at a job, your focus is to finish the job. I catch myself making riskier moves when the clock is ticking rather than when I have plenty of time to spare. We're soft washing this roof along with throwing a layer of Alumabrite on at the end to give it a bright and consistent finish. I find it extremely important to rinse every roof, but even more important to rinse metal roofs. From my experience, leaving your soft wash solution on the roof and not washing it off tends to leave a grimy, spotty finish at the end. Some of you may have seen the pollen and leaves stuck in creases of the roof. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get footage of the rinse off, but make sure to rinse any loose dirt or leaves that might have a hard time sliding off with the cleaning. If you don't rinse those, you may run the risk of leaving stains that may be harder to clean off at a later date. Thank every single one of you for watching. Remember, this video is part one of what will be a three-part cleaning, so be sure to like, subscribe, and be on the lookout for what's to come. I really hope this video helped out, and my DMs are always open for questions. Take it easy, everyone. Peace. this far thanks for watching the word of the day is corona so be sure to blow it up in the comments if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask and be on the lookout for future cleaning videos i don't know <laughs>